So who out there has been to Las Vegas before? You've been out to Vegas before, some of you? Yeah. Oh, yes, you have. So many have. They thought they have. Then you would have noticed this town's changed a bit. You used to actually have to have money and class to come to Las Vegas. <laughs> it's not like that anymore. Have you seen some of the creatures dragging themselves through McCarran International Airport? Honestly, some of the people, I can't believe it. People used to actually dress up to go to these, these shows, walk through these mega casinos, not anymore. You've got people walking around wearing T-shirts, flip-flops, big hairy butt cracks just hanging out. <laughs> and that's just some of the women. <laughs> Found it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. I just done my second tour. The entire country, the USA, I went all the way down the East Coast. We've got East Coast people in tonight. Yeah. In the front row, how you doing? How you doing? Then I went down south. I didn't miss a state. Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Texas. Then I went to Arkansas. You guys ever been down to Arkansas? Yeah. Oh, there are some strange people down there. <laughs> I did a comedy club, Little Rock, Arkansas. Eight drink minimum, two teeth maximum. This is a weird place. I met one guy down there. It was his own father. I said, give me... I said, I, I signed up for Las Vegas. I want the strip. They said, not before you go to the Midwest. I said, oh, is that where I'm going next? Do we have Midwesterners out there? Come on, there's more of you than that. I can smell the cow shit and the milky titties. <laughs> Beautiful people in the room tonight. I'm looking around. We've got lots of beautiful couples, beautiful ladies in the front row. We've got a few seniors in tonight as well, haven't we? I've noticed. <laughs> I see you all. There's a few at the back too. Was there a, uh, a group on for the over 55s that I didn't know about? If I'd have known there was this many older people coming, we could have done the show at Denny's. You'd have got free coffee. <laughs> Bless your hearts, my darlings. Honestly, you're going to have a great time. Where's the young punks, then the millennials? Where are you out there, eh? With your Instagram, your, your flip chat, your Snapchat and all that. Look, there's one over there. Look at this guy. 17 years old. Look at him. He's got a full beard going on. Look at that. That's the new craze. This, it's the new rage, isn't it? Hot chicks with tattoos. Look, this one, the blondie in the front. Brought her own bottle of vodka to the show. What are you doing? <laughs> Just pulled a bottle. Oh, and you've got that too. Flesh heart. You got more tats or there's just one on the arm? There's others, aren't they? Secret ones. All over your back. The whole thing's done. I, I'm into ink chicks. I like it. You int? Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, on the back of the head. Yeah. Oh, it's a brand new one. Look. In, in Las Vegas, that's it. $10 tattoo and jump off the stratosphere. You wouldn't have seen this shit in the days of the Rat Pack, would you? Hey? Eh? <laughs> Oh, you could see back in those days when Elvis Presley and Liberace were running the town with champagne and caviar. Today it's fanny packs and selfie sticks. <laughs> Welcome to Vegas. <laughs> now, I like a bit of ink on me, women. Some people say, well, you know, you don't want to get all tattooed up because when you get older, the tat's not going to look the same as when you did it today. You don't care. <laughs> exactly. I saw an older lady get out of an elevator today. She'd been at one of the pool parties. She was wearing a two-piece. She looked pretty hot. She had a tattoo of a jet pain above her left breast. I went to give her the pound it. I said, what's that? Your Air Force? She said, it's supposed to be an eagle. It used to be on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some strange ones. There's some strange ones walking around these casinos, these hotels. So, you know, is, it, is there anyone not in from America? We got other people out there. Are there any British people out there? Any Brits in? Are you out there, guys? Yeah? Is that where you're from? How you doing, guys? These Americans treat you nicely. They're doing all right. They talk about us behind our back. They think we've all got crazy teeth. <laughs> look at his teeth. <laughs> yeah, look, you can laugh. Look at this beautiful blonde with the tats with a Hollywood smile. You've got a Hollywood smile. I had my teeth fixed when I came to America. I did, I, yeah. Oh, you should have seen. I didn't have Hollywood smile. I had a smile that resembled Stonehenge. I'm like, ah, 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 England. <laughs> Bastards, I was so insecure. You've got the Europeans out here. You can spot the Europeans in Las Vegas, 106 degree heat. You see them all in their little speedos out by the swim pools, aren't they? <laughs> They're in packs. <laughs> With the flip flop. You know. <laughs> Hitting on the blonde chicks, they are. Three of them came walking towards me earlier today. I thought it was a pubic tsunami coming to take me down. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> anyway, uh, 
yeah, I look around, I'm like, you know, this is, this is a good crowd in. Good things going. Now, I can't be out too late tonight because tomorrow I've got a big day, you know, going, going to the shops. Yeah? You girls go to the shops, do you? Come on. I bet there's a few of you women in here tonight that are wearing their best outfit that they bought from Ross just last week. <laughs> Don't matter which part of America you come from, there's usually a Ross position between a Bed Bath and Beyond and a Michaels. <laughs> when I first came to, the, to America, I didn't know what Ross was. I caught my wife, she was texting her friend, I'm going to Ross, meet me there. I'm like, who the fuck is Ross? <laughs> she was in the other room, hey, Jessica, meet me at Ross. I'll see you in 20 minutes. I became very, very confused. So I went to my neighbour. I said, come here, Frank. He said, what do you want? I said, I need to know something about Ross. He said, what do you want to know? I said, describe Ross to me. He said, it's like Marshall's retarded cousin. <laughs> Check this place out. So I parked my minivan outside Party City. <laughs> and I went to Ross. I walked in. You, put, you see the, the shopping carts with great big poles on the end to stop... <laughs> Crazy people taking the carts away. <laughs> I didn't have a clue what they sold, so I walk in, I'm like, oh, it's the clothes stores, because there's some pants over here, smelly cams over here. You walk towards the back of the shop, and you think, who in their right mind walks out of their house with a, with a list to buy the shit that you find at the back of the Ross store? <laughs> it's like that old junk drawer everyone has in their kitchen. You're looking for a pen, you're trying to write a phone number now. 15 minutes later, you walk away with a packet of pornographic playing cards and a purple toilet seat cover. <laughs> I can't go there anymore. All right, you ready for some show? Make some noise. You ready for this Sunday Night Live? <laughs> 